Got him, got him. Got him. Come on. Come on. Seriously? Hello, welcome back to the John Boat. I'm going to drive out to uh, one of the local uh, fishing spots out here. It's Denton Creek. Uh, it's about 15 minutes away. And uh, Denton Creek actually feeds into Lake Grapevine. And uh, it's, it's, it's a popular bank fishing spot. And uh, so I'm going to see if uh, anybody's out there. I'm not going to get out and fish. It's getting kind of late. It's almost dark. But um, I'm going to drive by. I'm going to see if there's any cars parked out there. I kind of doubt it. Uh, because that is Army Corps of Engineer land. I know that here in Texas all the state parks are closed um, but uh, I'm almost certain that uh, the Army Corps of Engineers is probably going to run everybody uh, off of those uh, uh, off of those little bank fishing spots there along Denton Creek but you know, I thought I'd drive out there anyway and just check it out so uh, we'll see you in a little bit when we get there. Okay uh, so I tried to come out here last night and uh, actually didn't make it over here in time. The traffic was really, really uh, bad getting over here, and I was surprised at that. Um, it took me way longer to get to this spot than it normally does. Uh, this is Denton Creek, just north of Roanoke, Texas, right off of Highway 377. And uh, I'll show you the creek. The creek's kind of flooded right now. Uh, we have had a lot of rain here. I'm gonna zoom in and see if you can see that right there. I might try to come over here and uh, fish off of that spot. I don't know. It says that the trail is closed, but there's about eight or nine cars out here in the parking lot. This is a uh, uh, real popular uh, mountain bike trail, hiking trail, um, kind of right off of the northwest corner of Grapevine Lake. And so. Um, but anyway, like I was saying last night, uh, this has been a popular bank fishing spot for years. Uh, most of the people, I'm going to turn the camera around here, uh, that's Highway 377. Uh, normally you'll see cars lining uh, the road. There's a little parking area just a little bit north of here. Uh, and, and generally it's not unusual to see 10, 12 cars out there at any given time, but I think uh, right now with this uh, pandemic, I think the Army Corps of Engineers, uh, they're, they're chasing the fishermen uh, away anyway, it looks like. And uh, so, uh, but it looks like the, the mountain bikers are ignoring uh, the signs here, says uh, the trail is closed. But anyway, uh, I haven't fished this spot in, in, uh, in quite a while. Um, I have been out here in the past uh, the last time I came out here, actually the last few times I came out here, I uh, ran into some squirrely individuals. And there's some real peculiar people like to hang out over here. And so uh, I, I quit coming over here. Uh, uh, the last time I came over here, I ran into a guy. That he's just He was the kind of guy that you don't want to run into in a, in a uh, wooded area like this uh, when there's no one else around. And so, uh, and, and yes, I do carry but this is Corps of Engineer land, Army Corps of Engineer, inter, Army Corps of Engineer land. That's easy for you to say. But um, so uh, even though I have a Texas LTC, I cannot legally carry on Corps of Engineer property. So that's uh, one of the reasons why I quit coming over here. Um, that, like I said, because I just started running into just some real oddball people out here. Uh, parks are closed, state parks are closed, uh, it, it, it's uh, hard to find a spot to launch the kayak, and so uh, hopefully uh, hopefully soon, that's all I can say. Um, other than that, my best guess is I don't know when we'll be able to uh, you know, post some fishing footage. Um, but anyway, uh, that's all I have for today. and. Uh, Thank you for watching, and uh, I promise you this is a fishing channel, and we are going to post fishing videos just as soon as we possibly can, folks. It's a little bit harder for me living here in, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I live five, about five and a half hours from the Texas coast, and, and like I said in my first video, I'd origin originally I had planned to go 
to the uh, uh, Freeport uh, area and uh, that was to be the basis of my first video and that didn't happen because of the pandemic um, living in the Dallas Fort Worth area it, it, it's hard enough during normal times to, to get out and find the time and, and drive out to uh, the places uh, uh, you know where we need to go to go fishing because uh, there's not just a whole lot here in the Dallas Fort Worth area in the metropolitan area other than a few places like uh, the one I just showed you here so but anyway like I said um, I thank you for watching and uh, we'll uh, I don't know maybe we'll uh, you know, go through and diagnose that pin reel I was telling you about in one of my previous videos the one I was having trouble with maybe maybe I'll do a, a pin reel video uh, uh, the repair on a repair of a pin reel video there so anyway, uh, till next time, um, folks, uh, behave and uh, be blessed. And it's time for me to be gone and to be back at the house.